day 87. Woo! I'm at 131. I can't believe it. One pound, and I'm going to be down 100 pounds since 04 when I started my whole weight loss. Get healthy, get lean, become a freaking crazy ass machine. I'm so happy. I just can't explain it. Now, I want to talk about, I put together a little information, some before and after pictures. You can go to kellyannmullen.com. Uh, Go check it out. It's hilarious, a little embarrassing, but whatever, you know, you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> okay, big chore I did this past week. Clean out my closet because my clothes is falling off and people are making fun because I look all skinny in my big clothes. Cleaned it out, gave away all kinds of stuff. People are thrilled with that. Uh, feeling good. In a size six, maybe five. Loving that. Uh, you know, the maintenance is going to be really interesting. I'm kind of excited about it. I get to eat this week. <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm thrilled. I can't wait to just consume my avocado. Who knew I liked avocado so much? All right, I'm going to talk a little bit about all the feelings that kind of overwhelm you. 90 days is a pretty long time to go on a juice feast. I'm really happy I did it, though, because of the mental clarity. And who knew I was going to dream about the foods I dream about? You know, I need a chip. My mother, my sweet, sweet mother, has prepared for me a whole bag of dehydrated zucchini chips so that I can make a variety of dips. Now, you can't start off going crazy eating everything like a lunatic. You eat prunes your first day on Thursday. We'll have a video of that. And then I'm going to have me a little bit of Mexican salsa and some zucchini chips the next day. Just a couple, just a couple, and then maybe a couple the next day. She made me enough to last me a year. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk a little bit about my history. Uh, I lost some weight by myself, and then I hired a raw uh, vegan chef to transition me into raw foods a, few years, a couple years back before I decided to do the Juice Feast. And I'll never forget the day that she told me. She was making me very intricate, heavy, high-fat recipes to transition me from the American diet to keep my palate satisfied. And she told me, you know, hey, one day you're going to be really happy with just smoothies and salads, except for maybe a celebratory dish every once in a while. I thought, she's crazy. That little skinny girl is crazy. There's no way I'll be able to live on smoothies and salads. Props, girl, you were right. I can see my future on mostly like fruits and vegetables and water. Okay. Something that's really surprised me on this juice feast was how I feel so in tune. Physically and mentally. I feel in tune with my environment. I feel in tune with the people around me. I just feel more balanced, calmer, and more peaceful. And it's just really surprising. How in tune you get physically and emotionally when you're clear of all the toxins that you've had built up for so many years. I just got to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all the people who have been so supportive, who have given me these little helpful tips and who have helped me with little boosts of go girl. I love it and keep it up. Thank you so much.